Hoseman, our boy from Kelly, probably lives in Compton with a name like the Hoseman. What does it make him in Compton? Because it's like, that's like street thug nickname if I've ever heard one. Well, Compton, I don't think it's like it used to be anymore. That's the Hoseman. Yo, that's the hose. It's a, so be like, Yo, man. So that's where the hoseman comes from. He handles the hose. Yo, man, that's the hoseman. You don't don't look it in the eye of the hoseman. That's the hose. The eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think Next, so. I was picturing it in my head. I was like, <laughs> this guy's hard. <laughs> Come on now. Are you spitting up already? We're just getting started. Come out my nose. We're just getting started. <laughs> Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to once again another doozy of an episode here at the Wolf Day Compound. It's a doozy. Not only do we have everybody's favorite segment, coffee shout outs, you can kind of see it down there, but, but, we have the SR Sun Tour, a Pixon Epicon, 120 millimeters of travel, $200 fork. We've got the real time review. We take it down the Hayes Creek Run, Black Diamond Trail, and then after we get done doing the little real time review for you guys, we are going to rate this fork and see where exactly it ranks, right? And I think you guys will enjoy it, the whole real time on that. Pretty intense fork. We've, we're fancy. We got the remote lockout now. But um, we've got some coffee shout outs to attend to because we need to show love to all of the Wolf Tick Nation fellows out there that are showing us love right back in return everybody's favorite segment let's get into some coffee shout outs okay it's a doozy now let's go ahead and start out with our main man my boy on the board at the top berserker nick Jeez. berserker nick 10 cups of coffee yeah 10 cups of coffee oh delay for the homies out there berserker nick let me tell you something man you've been hell? such a help to this channel and uh, man we just appreciate you and believe me we have not forgot about the wolf tick nation stem caps we have been talking about it we're gonna figure something out it's gonna be special it's, gonna be it's probably gonna be in the ten thousand area or yeah, no it'll be I'm something thinking, separate I don't yeah know. it's gonna be big berserker be on the lookout for a little cross promotion deal video coming up soon with us and berserker next channel yeah, hopefully by next week we'll have that handled. yeah hopefully we'll get it handled we'll see. berserker nick thank you so much as always from both of us here at wolf tick videos yeah. for the 10 cups of coffee man and for being you. Yeah. Next, on the coffee board, five cups of coffee or more, we've got a shooby dooby doo doo. Ooh! Bikes. Shooby bikes. I thought you were actually going to try to hit the rest of the notes. Oh, I would have. I just, you know, I didn't want to crack the mic. Do you know who that is? It's uh, Dan Alanis Morset. <laughs> Come on, it's Wayne Newton. Wayne? Oh, God. Thank you so much, Shuby. Yeah. Now, Shuby said that uh, that is more money to go towards your drunken eBay. <laughs> Where's that been? I, I, you know, I'm due. I'm, I'm, I'm a little short on some stuff. I'm yeah. drinking water. Well, I mean, you does need that to, tell you something? You have got to get a little drunk and get your on eBay God. so we can get some more mail time. I thought, I thought kids were supposed to tell their parents, I don't like when you drink. Yeah. <laughs> Shuby Bikes, thank you so much. We got to get him in the mood, start doing some drinking and ordering some stuff on eBay. I completely agree. Another five cups of coffee mm -hmm. and, uh, quote, Keep your <laughs> up, unquote. Uh, oh, Mr. Dayford, five cups of coffee. You know who it is. I knew who it was. I didn't have to look. Uh huh. Next week's uh, mail time segment, probably Tuesday. There's some mail over there from old Mr. Oh, Dayford yeah, himself. Oh, yeah, there is. There's yep. mail, but it ain't mail time this time. Mm -mm. Well, we got some mail over there from Mr. Dayford. Tuesday? Mm -hmm. Tuesday. It's got time? fragile written all over the box. So we're trying to figure out uh, what it could be. I've been shaking I think it, it's Dayford. Stamped. Yeah, I don't know. We've been shaking it, trying to figure I it out. I hope you're not shaking it. You're supposed to stay off that. He gets into the mail time like it's Christmas. A kid getting in the gifts. I have to keep him off of it. Start trying to cut in there real yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I then cut your box open, Dayford, and search what, what was do in you there. Mean? I seen it, and I closed it and taped it back up. Yeah. I told you about that year. I unwrapped a gift real carefully, played with it for a long time, rewrapped it, and taped it. Yeah, and, yeah. I've not done that in mail time, just to be clear. But Dayford, so five cups of coffee. We will definitely keep up our... Thank you so much for uh, yes. giving towards that, man. We well, really that's one thing it. we're really good at is keeping up our... And Dayford is really good at, really uh, good at enjoying that and supporting yes. it. Thank, Thank you, Dayford. You. The Hoseman, our boy the from Hoseman. Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, now a while back, 
you know, we were saving this uh, coffee uh, shout-outs up. A while back, old Mr. DeHoseman from California said congratulations on the 8,000 subscribers. And that was his contribution, five cups of coffee. Okay, well, thank yeah. you. Yeah, he's contributing in other ways. But DeHoseman, our boy from Kelly, five cups of coffee. Thank you, man. Next, on the Buy Us a Cup of Coffee board, five cups of coffee goes to at Gahoffs. Now, check this out. Good Five cups hops. of coffee, Gahoffs. Thank you so much, first of all, but this is kind of a funky thing. This funky? That's the Mr. German with a... Br okay, he's Brazilian with a German name. Oh, that's him? Uh-huh. Gahoffs? Gahoffs. That, that sounds like Dahoff. Dahoff? At Gahoff. Five cups of coffee. He's Brazilian. And German. And German, I think. Looks German. I don't know. Gahoffs, thank you so much for the five cups of coffee. It doesn't really matter, but I guess it makes a good story. Yeah, it's a great story. Gahoffs, I mean, who the thought, you know? I was like, oh, dude, I started speaking German to this guy. I was like, typing out German. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, and then he comes back, he's like, man, I'm, I'm Brazilian. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay. Yeah. Did you switch to Portuguese? No. Oh. No. Because he speaks English just fine. So, okay. anyway, Gahoffs, he's got a GT Aggressor Pro, and he says that he's so happy that... Oh, they have GT Aggressor Pros in Brazil? I, I think he's in America. I don't know. Oh. I don't okay. know where he's at. Right. But anyway, he says he got a GT Aggressor Pro, and uh, he is so happy that he found our channel. Thank you so much for your five cups of coffee, dude. It really yeah. helps us out. All right, next, we have got Jamie H4. Now, I... what can four things... B that are four things B oh, that H's will stand for. Okay, you start it off. Ready and go. Hofstetter. <laughs> you can't go back. You can't do that. Hyman. <laughs> no, no, you can't do that. Hallelujah. It's, maybe it's backwards and it's 4 H. He's in no, no, he's not a 4 H guy. No, no okay. he ain't taking care of rabbits and cattle. <laughs> Rabbits and cattle. Yeah, that's all they do in 4-H. Believe me, I read into it. I was going to do it. Uh-uh. Uh, I think you did it. No? Never Maybe did I did do it. Okay. Maybe I did Rabbits. I don't know. Anyways. Five Cups of Coffee says uh, he was really excited when we did the install on the uh, Pixin, the, what we're about to get into here shortly, Jamie, um, the uh, Pixin, and he said that he put two of them, I think, on his daughter's bikes, okay. and uh, he sent some pictures. So maybe we'll do a little something-something and put you in the viewer's rides. Mm -hmm. Jamie H4, thank you for the Five Cups of Coffee, and uh, hopefully this fork performs like you say it will. Next and last on the coffee board, we still got two left though, is Mr. Lost Trail. Now, Lost Trail, five cups of coffee. We have seen his channel and seen mm -hmm. him in the sun riding, right? Yeah, I think he had one or two kids. Yeah, don't you got like a yeah. kid or something um, that you know about? <laughs> Probably got the kid. Now, Lost Trail, we're oh. really looking forward to seeing some more riding God. footage. You and your boy out this summer. So hopefully you, uh, like you got that camcorder people. going. And he says he wants us, you mainly, mm -hmm. to buy more booze. Not necessarily for bike parts. Is it, are you joking? Because no, people want it. The people they want, want the milk time segment of drunken eBay. You know that when the Wolf Tape Nation asked, I deliver. You shall receive. So I am going to go right out with some of this money. Yes, I'm gonna go buy get yourself some... a big old fifth of vodka. No, no, mm. I'm gonna get something good. Lost Trail, thank you so much for the five cups of coffee, and uh, we gotta get this guy some booze so we can do some drunken eBay. Now coming in with two cups of coffee, Marvy Marv seventeen. He says, man, love you guys' content. It's been great. Marvin Marv 17. Marvin Marv 17. Thank you for the two cups of coffee, man. I thought you were saying Marvin the Martian at first. Mm -hmm. No. Marvy Marv, Marv 17. Oh, so Thank you so much, Marvin Marv. Thank you, Marvin Marv. Two cups of coffee. We got Derek S. Colfers. That's a hell of a last name, first of all. Colfers. You know? Colfers. I don't know. It doesn't sound right when I'm saying it. Colfers. Are you sure it's right? No. I think it might be... Colfers. Did you just say the same thing? Yeah. Let's pronounce it a different way now. Colfers. I think it's the same. I don't know. Derek S. Colfers. Two cups of coffee. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. First time and probably the last what time is, you bought us coffee. What is Colfers? Is that like German? Last but not least, we've got Mr. Al Lock. Oh, Al. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Al. He's back. Is he the one that was asking about the Beatles the other day? Yeah, he was wondering if that was in your era. Yeah, just missed it, Al. Just missed it, Al. I'm, I'm, yeah. Shucks. I think the Beatles are overrated. Al Lock. I don't think they're overrated. I think they're amazing. But at the same time, it was before a little bit before my time. Yeah. Well, Mr. Well, Homeboy went a little upscale. He says, you know what? I'm getting me in a Pixin. So he got in a Pixin oh, for his summer riding uh, fork, and he got a Lutu for his winter riding fork. He says the Pixin is amazing, and now he is happy and broke. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd rather be happy and broke and miserable and rich. Yeah. Al Locke, thank you so much for the cup of coffee. Well, that about sums it up for all of the coffee purchases. We appreciate all you coffee supporters yes, out there. Now, what do you say we get to this Apix in real time review? Yeah, Hicks Creek Run, Black Diamond, Mount Nebo State Park, and then stick I'm ready around because we're going to rate this thing. Official Jack and Dan Fanny Pack is going to accompany me with my walkie talkie in there. It's going to accompany me on the Black Diamond Hayes Creek Run. We've got the GT Grocer Pro sitting over there. Why don't I get it out and we're going to talk about what we're going to be doing today. Are you going to say anything? Just Are you going to tell me you're ready to record? I've been recording this whole time. Well, damn, I wish you would have said something. I never stopped. All right, guys, out here at Hayes Creek Run with the GT Aggressor Pro. We've got the Apixen up on the front and 120 millimeters of travel. And we've got the lockout on this sucker now with the little remote up there, the SR Sun Tour. We're getting fancy. Ooh, somebody, wasn't somebody complaining saying something about the remote? Something's wrong with it or something? Uh, I think he was saying that I had it mounted upside down. I'll tell you what, right now, I've got it set at 80 pounds of pressure. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's kind of scary smooth. It really is. I mean, it is just, we'll see how much it soaks up stuff out here on these trails. Yeah, we need it. We'll need it soaks it up. We'll need a whole score. Well, let's go ahead and hit this Hayes Creek Run Trail and um, see how these forks do us. Black Diamond, here we go, baby. Oh, it's been a long time since I've been on this trail with this bike, it seems like. Oh, yeah. It always feels like I'm home on the GT. I've ridden three different bikes today. It always feels like this is uh, this is the home bike. Woo, man. Smooth on the takeoff for sure on this fork. Coming in hot. All right. I might have to, uh, damn it. Let me see if I have to, I think I'm gonna set that rebound right in the middle. I think it's high right now. I'm getting some uh, pogo effect. Yeah, a little pogo. We only slow it down. Oh, a little muddy anyway. Let me uh, turn the rebound down. Got a turn coming up here. Let's see how we do on the first switchback. Okay. Into it nice. A little bit of, little bit of travel in there. Not as much as I would like to see. I might ought to take a little bit of air out of these guys. We'll see how they're treating us down here. But man, two hundred dollars. I'm wondering if they're gonna be better than the Enixes. All right, before we get to the switchback, I don't have a fork pump with me, but we're gonna set these down a little bit. I think they're still a little tad bit high. Oh my, was a good little squirt out of there. Okay, let's try that. We'll see after this little, uh, got that little waterfall area. Wow. Got that little waterfall area. We'll see how it does after that. We'll try to walk out out maybe. Got a uh, pretty good sized rock garden here at Hayes Creek right here. Ugh, it's longer than that. <coughs> Golly. They did good there. All right, nice and smooth. I love that 120 millimeters of travel. And apparently we can get these things and open them up some more. They are serv serviceable from what I understand, but we can open them up some more and give them even more travel. That might be interesting to do on this bike. But 120 millimeter travel, I think that's more than enough. What I like is the micro travel, it's eating all the small stuff up like this here. Remember what we talked about with the, uh, what we talked about with all that micro travel and hitting all the little bitty spots out. Um, you can really feel the adjustments as we're going down the trail. I do like that 32 millimeter stanchion. I want to say, you know, we had the rock shocks on here previously to this. And I want to say I can feel the difference. It feels like they're spongier and softer um, and not as rough and wanting to bounce me back. God, I love this bike. 27.5, so maneuverable. It doesn't feel like it's trying to overwork itself. A little drop here. It doesn't feel like it's trying to overwork and the travel's all over the place. 
it knows when it wants to absorb something and i like that feeling uh it's not you know oh, the cheaper with the cheaper forks they feel like they try to absorb every single thing or just the big stuff this here is doing a really good job of filling out all of it and doing just the right amount that's that little price difference i mean they're only 200 dollars still a budget fork but that's that little price difference that you're going to get uh, compared from this to like say a lutu or something you got that waterfall we'll try the lockout that right there guys was so needed with that air pressure bringing out i don't know what i'm at right now maybe 70 maybe i'm at 70 all right just got past the waterfall i was trying to talk over there and probably couldn't hear me um we're gonna do the lockout is on now we got that 10 millimeters of travel about and then it stops so let's go ahead and try that lockout and see how it does remember it's probably the only spot on this trail that we can try it okay it's not bad not bad at all um i mean it feels solid you know it feels like a hardtail but it's that whole idea of not uh making sure we don't forget about it is the thing but i mean it works here we go let's try this okay little nose heavy there man oh you can just hear them working you hear that oil circulating i love that like i'm i'm making these things work right now with all that weight distribution Woo. well not bad man just wait till we score these things the hayes creek run was hell of a run on that fork i really enjoyed it and just like old mtb alex said he said i was really gonna enjoy the lockout although i didn't get to use it that much but i enjoyed it being up there you know I, I, that was one thing we were watching the footage back i really didn't say too much about mm -hmm. it being up there in the accessibility i liked it we well, all used it what twice maybe on the maybe trail? twice yeah using it and then in the parking lot i screwed with it a little bit but mtb alex you were right man um gracias now this is our list i left some room in between of course for uh, wherever this fork's going to place. Very solid fork. I enjoyed the 32 millimeter stanchions. I think after taking off the RockShox G's, which were 30 millimeters, and uh, use, riding these ones, I could actually feel a difference. I couldn't really feel it too much going from a 32 to the 30, but I did feel it from a 30 going to the 32, if that makes sense. Now, right. let's rate these things. We're gonna, we're gonna go through the categories real quick. Okay, let's go through the categories. Like we normally do. Looks plus feel. In looks, you gave this fork, now, Mind you, I think it's a decent looking fork. It's a damn good looking fork. Uh, yeah, that's what you said before because you gave it a perfect five out of five on looks. It's a very good I, looking fork. I, I I I would have given it probably a four. What I like is the decals on that thing. They're cleared over. It's mm. very clean. There's not okay, stickers yeah. on that thing. Which, Everything is the finish. Which kind of goes to the next category. The finish, boys. Which the is finish. Feel. Feel. And what that's sort it? of like the quality, the feel I, of yeah. it, and all that stuff. I give stuff. it a perfect five on the looks. looks. You give it a 3.5 on the feel. 3.5 on the feel. It would have scored higher, but everything felt very cold in the fork except for the rebound. The, the rebound. rebound like check. I do wish that the Apixen 120s had the same exact rebound as the Apixen 140s. The 140s just feel way better. It feels more solid. That, and there's it's, it's a beefy aluminum. Fork. Aluminum. It's beefy. It's aluminum and it clicks. You know, mm. this one right here doesn't have any clicks and it's plastic let's go to the adjustments first adjustments yeah the adjustments taking like having an effect on the fork mm -hmm. and 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 again you know some it's more the adjustability of the fork and how it takes adjusting, adjusting the air right. and the and the 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 lockout and the uh, rebound and all that not so much the way those things feel but the way it affects the fork mm -hmm. you did give that a 4.3 so you felt that it affected it greatly yeah i think it really affected it greatly um in here when we're messing with it and out in the trails you guys seen that now we're going to go into the actual parts of the you know there's a couple ratings here on the trails which is one is the smalls, smalls. handling the small stuff now you did complain that it was a little bit, had too much pressure in it, you thought, and it wasn't uh -huh. really doing a great job on the smalls in the beginning. A little pogo effect, yeah. In the beginning. Well... And then I messed with the rebound. You messed the rebound, and you let air out. And I let air out. And then mm -hmm. you felt it get a lot, got a lot better, yeah. but it still wasn't as good as some of the others. And yeah, you gave it a 3.7. Yeah, 3.7 wasn't as good on the smalls, and um, with a fork like that, I expect to be able to get it dialed in. I thought I had it dialed in. I want it to be dialed in, and I want it to really soak up a lot of the small stuff. Watching the footage back, it wasn't as good as I thought it was. You feel on the large soaks it up, because you give it a 9.4. Yeah, 
four in the large soak stuff. You guys seen those first two features I hit on the Haze Creek run? Very impressive. Now, Haze Creek runs probably got three different drops, and um, most of the time I hit them hard. And I hit them hard on this fork, and it didn't feel like any problems up front at all. I was able to put weight on there. Um, very impressed with the big stuff on this fork. Okay, and then next we got the weight. They weighed 4.14 pounds, and that was with the remote. With the remote, yeah. Yeah, so, so, it, so people can't say, oh, well, hang on now. They got a remote. Mm -hmm. We weighed it with the remote. Yeah, with the remote, 4.14 pounds. So now, the total. Are you the ready total. for this? The total. Yeah, do you want me to guess? Yes, I do. Where do you think it's going to be? The Rock Shocks Judy's, those were really impressive as well. Not as good as these two, obviously, but still a really good fork. Just they were one of the heavier. smoothest. Yeah, but they, they were, were one of the smoothest Yeah, they were feeling. smooth, just yeah. heavy, you know? And heavy, and, they, and the adjustability was a little funky with the rebound. I think we are going to be, ooh. What do you think? You think there? I think there. What do you guys think? What, what's the Wolf Tape Nation think it's about to be? No, they Without, got calculators. They're probably doing Oh, the they math. already did the math. You guys okay. already did the so math. They, 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 so the cat's out of the bag with them. He, you're not doing the math. We know that. Come on that. now, tell we me. No, you're not doing no math. Tell me, damn it. Thirty-one point seven six. Oh no way! No way! Thirty-one point seven six. Oh dude! How funny! The same fork manufactured the same fork just That's to build different travel. Talk about being accurate with scoring. Look at that. Damn. Holy crap, that's crazy. 31.76 makes complete that's pretty, sense to that's me. That's consistency I mean, right that's there. a scientific, you know, that's what you get with this channel. Scientific, <laughs> scientific stuff, studies, hypotheses, oh. factual, argumentative, reasoning. A lot of argumentative. You know, that's what you get with Wolf Tick videos. We are here to stay. Um, I mean, we're all wow. about just, you know, we're yeah. all about it. Wait, so apparently there's something to our scoring system yeah. that, that is... Pretty consistent. Yeah, scientific. But um, guys, scientific. be on the lookout, please. Yeah. Um, I gotta say something real quick on that too. Uh, sorry that we haven't got to your comments on yesterday's video. Uh, we are absolutely slammed. So give us. We'll be t by tonight. We should have all of them caught up from the last video and this video and all the others. We should be all caught up by tonight. So hopefully later tonight. You'll get your questions in, or you'll get your comments answered. Just the two of us. It's now, just be on the lookout just for next. Just the two of us. Look, uh, be on the lookout for next week's video Tuesday. Hopefully, it will be the Axum DP real term review. Think about taking down the Hayes Creek Run. We haven't decided yet, but be on the yeah, lookout for we, that video. You've been negotiating with me. We've been negotiating. Yeah. Now, not only that, but we also will be doing a mail time segment. We got some day for we do. We have mail some, over some there. For some mail. berserker mail over there. We got some mail. I'm excited yeah. about it. But guys, we appreciate you watching Wolf Tick videos as always. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. And, and turn uh, notifications also, on. Please. If you guys want to be mentioned in the cup of coffee shout out, especially mm -hmm. making the board, you guys go down to the link below, buy us a cup of coffee or two or three or five or thirty, and we will give you a little bit of shout out. We'll give you some love on the channel, and we'll try to get you sent out some Wolf Tick video stickers. But guys, until next time, that was another Wolf Tick video production. We will see you next Tuesday. Yeah.